Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my monthly spread for October, 2023. So if that interests you, keep on watching. So in today's video and setting up my monthly spread for October, I'm going to be pulling from two main sticker books. They're going to be from the Wrong Wrong Halloween and also from Mojo Jojo Plans, her foiled rainbow boxes. If either of these sticker books are still available, I will have them linked down below in the description box for your reference. And then also what we're going to be doing is we're also going to be pulling in a couple different images here from Google. So basically I just went to Google images. I typed in haunted house, you know, kind of, you know, scenery. And these are a couple of, um, couple of images that really appeal to me. So we're going to be incorporating them also into this spread and everything. And so with that, we are going to bring in my Fiskars little cutting thing here to get started. And we're going to start off here with this haunted house image. So basically what I'm going to do is I am just going to remove first and foremost, just the white margins from these images. And like I said, I just printed this in color on my home color printer. And now we're just going to be removing the white margins to start off with. And I thought this would be like a fun time to kind of bring in kind of like what we did for the currently dashboard setup page. Um, just using, you know, or utilizing, I should say, uh, Google images and everything just for some, you know, cool images that we're not going to be selling or anything like that, but we're just going to be basically doing or using rather in a fun personal kind of journal, you know, calendar view here for our planner. And this is a great way to to do certain things, you know, to expand on, you know, putting in some like decorative touches and everything to your planner spreads, to your planner pages and everything without necessarily having to always buy, you know, a sticker book or anything like that. So and now we're gonna go over to this one and do the same with removing the white margins. Now it's not in any way, shape or form saying that I don't love my planner stickers because you guys know I really do love my planner stickers and everything. But I like to do some things, you know, just to kind of shake things up. Maybe, you know, kind of think a little bit outside of the box, you know, or incorporating some different things, showcasing some different avenues in which, you know, you guys there at home also can, you know, just zhuzh up your pages, if you will you know, with your planner spreads. And this can also be incorporated into like scrapbooking or memory keeping and everything. And spoiler alert, I'm going to be showcasing some memory keeping in 2024 with you guys. So I'll be showing you guys how I do my memory keeping behind the scenes. I figured, hey, if I'm doing it behind the scenes, might as well just kind of expand and maybe show you guys also, maybe to help you guys get some ideas on how you can memory keep or scrapbook using some happy planner, you know, materials or what have you, or something similar. So what we're gonna do here is I think I'm going to come over right from the get-go here and we're gonna jump right into our Mojo Jojo plans. And I'm thinking I want to use her, I want to use one of these like, here, let me flip here. One of these long sideboard stickers and everything. Cause as my returners or my subscribers know, I love using a really nice sideboard sticker here on the sideboard of my monthly spread. Because for me, this is where I keep track of my auto payments and everything that get automatically paid or deducted from my checking account month to month. And that's just a way to incorporate using your monthly spread and also kind of like a budget kind of conscious way too. So you're not having to have maybe necessarily a separate budget planner, you know, if you want to keep everything a little bit more condensed and all in one kind of planner, so to say. So I'm debating here. I'm like, okay, let's see which ones I have available. What colors we have available to us. I don't know if I really want to go with orange, but it could be kind of cool with like a pop of color of that orange in that way. So I'm kind of leaning maybe towards that avenue here. And I'm of these two um, stickers here. So what I like about uh, Mojo Jojo Plans, she has with her foils, she has like a darker foiled one and then she has a lighter bound uh, boundary colored one. So I'm going to pick the darker of the orange ones. Okay. 
I'm just gonna lift that up. I'm gonna set that to the side. And then I'm going to come over here to the left page and I'm just kind of trying to keep in mind here what kind of imagery I have. So the imagery that I'm mainly gonna be using incorporating around the sideboard sticker here is I think it's gonna be coming from this tree here in and of itself. So, and I'll show you guys here in just a minute like what I'm talking about. So with that kind of keeping that in my mind, I think I want to set this kind of sort of in the middle of the sideboard page here. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna line it up here with uh, basically the fourth line down at the very top. And then I'm just going to lay this down really nicely, just like that. And I love these sideboard stickers from Mojo Digital Plants because I love the lines and everything. It just really works out really, really well for me with, you know, like, like I said, keeping track of my, um, you know, auto deductions and everything. Okay, so since we're gonna be kind of doing some um, Google imagery around this from at the top and the bottom, I am not going to be whiting out that just yet. Now, just bear with me, <laughs> okay. Now, this is the kind of image that I'm kind of, you know, thinking about. And it's gonna be coming from this edge here. So what I wanna do is I'm thinking I wanna take my Fiskars and I'm just gonna grab like a pen here. And I think I want to kind of cut it. Okay, so this is, uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna free cut this because yeah, I'm, I don't want it like a straight cut and everything. So, cause we want to get incorporated um, these really cool tree branches and everything into it. So yeah, so I'm just gonna freehand cut it here. I'm just gonna cut it right through here. And then we're gonna kind of cut around, making sure that we're keeping the tree branches in there. Okay. I just think this looks really, really cool. Okay, and we're just gonna come up here. All right, I'm gonna cut right around there. Just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna set this image off to the side. Now, in looking at the imagery and everything, I kind of want this top part of the tree to be at this kind of the top part of the page in a way. I'm not exactly sure 100% how I want that. I kind of want the October kind of peeking through. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here with the scissors and I'm just going to freely cut around into those branches a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And I'm we can kind of, and we'll keep that kind of pointy. All right, so I'm kind of liking this. Okay, where it's going. So this is a little bit of kind of like arts and crafts here with Melissa. <laughs> and if you're new here, hi. Yes, sometimes I like to get a little artsy crafty sometimes with uh, the way I do my planning. So bear with me. Like I said, I just like to have fun with, you know, setting up my planner pages and everything. And I absolutely love the fall season and October with all the spookiness and everything. So, you know, sometimes for my pages, um, I kind of like to go a little bit, you know, more effort into them, if you will. All right, and I'm going to kind of in here. I'll trim that too. Okay, now let's take a look here. I'm gonna cut that off too. All right, let's kind of take a look here at what we have to work with. And you're probably wondering, Melissa, why didn't you lay this down first and then put your sticker on top and everything? That is a very good question now that I'm really kind of questioning myself also on that, you know, uh, decision. But you'll see why in a minute here. I think it will be kind of really cool um, how this comes together here in just a minute. So now I'm going to kind of freehand cut this part. Yeah, 
kind of like that. All right, and now here, I'm just going to freehand round that off a little bit. All right, so now we have our two main images here. And see, when I lay this down here, I really like the look of that. I, I really think that's really cool and everything. And then we have, let's see, we have Fifteen spots open to us, and then if I put this down here, it'll kind of cover up like three. So for this one part, I'm going to come in here with my scissors again, and this way, I'm just going to trim right here at the bottom, right where that pumpkin is. And I'm going to lay this one down here. And then that way I'm not cutting off any of those pictures. Okay, yeah, I like that, or spaces. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm even gonna come in here and round this off a little bit more, just to give myself as much of the space in that side, give myself as much space in that sideboard sticker as possible. And I think I'm actually gonna also bring in my Fiskars again. And I'm just going to, make this more of a straight edge cut or trim if I can. So I'm gonna hold down the image, hold down this flap, and then take my blade down. There we go. So now we have a much more clean, you know, straight edge uh, cut there at the bottom. All right. Yeah, and see when we lay this down, look at that. It's gonna lay down really nicely. I'm actually gonna poke that down a little bit more, yeah. And look at that, and it has that orange kind of popping through. Oh, I like that to play in with this lantern color and the uh, pumpkin color, which I love. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here with our Elmer's Craft Bond glue. Because I was having issues the other, I was having issues earlier with my um, double scotch roller. So we're just gonna move forward with the glue for now. <laughs> you know, really truly make it a arts and craft kind of thing. All right, so I'm just gonna try to make sure I have the edges and everything as well as I can. All right, and now we're gonna bring this down here and I'm going to lay this down, kind of melding with the edge of the paper, or the edge of the, edge of the page and lean it out just like that. And I'm really just kind of going over it with a little bit, rubbing up just ever so gently. Okay. And now up here, we're gonna come up here and hold this. And now you can see that I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, 15 essentially spots here, which is perfect. Okay. So again, we're gonna take this, this part of the image, we're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna, with our Elmer's glue, we're just gonna go all over it. And I'm gonna go over the, the smaller pieces here in just a minute, but I wanna get the big, big main part here, fully coated. All right, and we'll come over here more easily with the smaller pieces, just so we're not, you know, breaking off anything. Okay. And now we're gonna, I'm just gonna turn the page here ever so like this. And then we're gonna take this to the corner. We're gonna line it up, carefully taking the top part, laying it down. And then we're taking this edge part. And I'm just gonna try to slide this a little bit if I can. Yep, there we go. Oop. There we go, okay. And then now we have it laid down. So now we can really just, you know, lay that down just like that. Yeah. I'm loving how this is looking, guys. What do you think? What are you thinking and feeling, you know? It's kind of cool having like the O of the October kind of peeking through a little bit, you know, with the branches kind of in that way. Yeah, I really like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay. So now we're gonna be mainly focusing on the right side of the page here with this image. 
So for this side and everything, I am wanting to kind of really, okay, so we have nothing in this area really. And looking at my calendar, just to kind of, that I have like kind of drafted out and everything, I don't have anything really for these dates and everything. So, other than a payday, and that's fine. We can work with that. Okay, so keeping that in mind, I'm kind of looking at this page, this picture here, and I'll creep up just in a really nice way. I kind of want to take it to where I want to, hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to do a straight, yeah. We're going to be bold, my friends. <laughs> okay, so I think I want to kind of cut it right here. And then bringing that image up again. Just kind of seeing where and right there. Okay, so now once again, we're gonna bring the Fiskars in. And we're going to line this up with those pin marks at the top and the bottom. Okay. And again, holding the picture in place and holding down the flap, we'll take that, just like that. Okay. Oh, I'm really liking this. Okay, great, great, great. And then, as you can see, we still have a really cool part of this image, you know, with the um, the tree and everything that we can reuse maybe if we wanted to as well. Okay, so here's what we have going so far. And I'm wanting to kind of freehand cut out here, I think, around these trees, kind of the tree branches. And I kind of want to do it in a way to where, you know, we have some like cool, like, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Like curves and everything, I guess is what I'm looking for. All right. So we're just going to go around this moon, which I think is going to be really cool. Okay, and then trim that part off. And then here we have this right here kind of coming into play. And I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna flip that over. And again, we're bringing in our Elmer's Craft On Glue. Since we have a big spot or a big uh, swatch here of a picture, I'm really not going to use anything for putting underneath it. And we are just going to simply coat this all around. tell you guys this kind of relaxes me you know something about like you know playing with like you know glue and scissors <laughs> or having like a little bit of somewhat kind of a little bit of a crafty you know kind of take on um, putting your planner pages together it's really fun you know kind of doing something a little different you know and not doing the same old same old all the time I like to kind of you know change things up a little bit all right so now we're going to turn this page this button on the page here slightly and I'm going to bring in the image and I'm going to line this up with the corner and with the bottom of the page as best as I can. Okay. And then we're going to line this up along the edge of the page. And then we are going to just, ooh, <laughs> we're just going to lay it on down just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to come back in here with this edge. Get that in there. Lay that down. This edge is a little pokey. So we're going to come in here with a little bit more glue. And that, my friends, that's how we're going to have that page looking. Yeah. 
Looks really cool. I like that. Ooh. Maybe need to put a little bit more down here. So I'm just going to lift that up a little bit, laying some glue there right down the planner page. And then taking that and really just kind of pressing, pressing, pressing as best I can. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to take this part of a little bit of these with like the bats and everything. And I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to just freehand cut this. Just like so. And then we're going to see how this looks up here. And I think I want to kind of curve around this one. Just like that. see what that gets us. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So once again with the glue, we're going to just lay that on down. Whoop. Making sure we get our edges and everything as best we can. You know, this is not about perfection here. And then we are going to take this to the upper corner. As I can there, yeah. And with the top of the page, and then laying it down just like that. And I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, and now for some fun, I'm also going to be taking in this last part here of this um, part of the bat, and we're just going to also incorporate this into the page also. So if you guys know me and everything, I like to try to use up, you know, what kind of scraps and everything I have and not really waste, you know, where I can anyways. All right, I like that just like that. So we're gonna flip that over and we're just gonna apply my glue to that piece. And we're gonna bring this over here. Oop. We're gonna pop that up onto that corner, laying that across the top, and then just rubbing that all into place there. So now we have our page looking like that, and I think it looks really cool. And then we're going to be, we're gonna bring in our uh, WR uh, hole puncher, or disc puncher, and what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and line it up with the previous punch, and then punch the next hole in and keep going down the page like so. That way, when we put this, pop this back into our Franken planner, <laughs> we can do so <laughs> without any kind of issue. And I truly love this tool. I think it's a really great tool to have in anybody's, um, you know, disc, if you're a disc planner in particular, this is a wonderful tool tool to have in your planner supplies for just this kind of thing. If you like to get kind of a little bit, you know, creative with doing different things with your planner pages like I do. Okay, and so now we have this to work with on our planner pages for our monthly spread. And I have to say, I am loving this, how it's coming together and everything so much. Okay, so I'm also going to be coming over here now to our Wrong Wrong Halloween Planner sticker book. And we are going to come in here to the, um, kind of like the boxes and everything just to kind of put in for any kind of appointment dates or anything like that that we need to have covered in our spread. And I think, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on that thought for a minute. I'm actually gonna come over here to the Mojo Jojo plans. I'm gonna pop into the orange to kind of play more off of that sideboard sticker. And I think this will be pretty kind of cool and fun and everything. So we're gonna take the pages over here and I have to try to think here as to what appointments and everything I have. Okay, so I have something on the 13th. So I'm gonna come over here to this page and I'm gonna pick up this, um, no, actually I'm gonna go for, I think a little thicker box. So I'm gonna come down here. So it's kind of like 
middle size um, rectangle box. And I'm going to come over here to this side of the page and we are going to lay this down for the 13th. Yeah, and I, and I like how this kind of looks, you know, kind of going over the image, the Google image and everything too. I think it looks really cool and everything like that. Okay, and then we have, uh, let's see, we have something on the fourth. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this box here, that orange. So I said the fourth, right? So we have here on the fourth, and I'm just going to lay that one down just like that. Okay, so far so good, I'm loving it. Okay, and then let's see, we have, of course, the 25th. Okay, and the 25th is gonna be this box right here. So just kind of imagining that and everything. And so I'm going to come over here with this box and I'm going to lay this one right like so. Oh, so cool. All right. And then last but not least, we have something on the, well, <laughs> we have something more than two things on the 31st. So since the 31st is Halloween, I think I'm going to move my appointment sticker to the 30th just to kind of cover that and everything. So I'm going to come in here again with another kind of smaller medium sized box. And I'm just going to pop that in here on the 30th. Okay, and I think that is good with the Mojo Jojo plans. And now we're going to come over here to the wrong wrong Halloween sticker book. And I'm just kind of trying to think of here, what ones do I want to use? So I'm going to tuck that in there. Um, what I do like so far that I'm looking at is I really like these bats and everything. So I'm going to pull up my tweezers here. I'm gonna lift up this bat sticker right up here. Yeah, look at that, that's just so cool. We're gonna lay that one right there, right there at the top. I just think it looks so, so cool. Okay. And then, let's see. I'm kind of debating if I want to use this purple one here that says Happy Halloween on the Halloween date or what other sticker I want to use. So we're just going to kind of look through this sticker book together in a way and just kind of seeing and feeling it out for what I kind of want to, you know, utilize and pull in and everything. And so I'm kind of thinking... Oh, okay. So I'm going to be pulling in this really cool looking kind of scary clown, um, wrong, wrong girl. Ugh, it's giving me like it, you know, the whole it vibes and everything like that. But in a female <laughs> kind of form. All right. Okay, come on. There we go. Careful here. Part of that inner part of the clear back sticker didn't quite kiss cut. So there we go. All right. Now we have our girl. All right. I'm going to take her and I want to lay her down. Okay. I am going to white out the Halloween part. And then we're going to take our girl and we're going to just gently lay her down on the page just like that. And I, I think it's cool like having her on the Halloween date and everything because, you know, you know, dressed up for a Halloween and everything in a costume. I just think it's a lot of fun, you know, in that respect. And then I'm going to come over here to this RIP, you know, um, tombstone with the skull and then the web and the tree and everything. I just think this looks really kind of spooky and cool. So we're going to take that and we're going to lay this one right down here next to our picture. 
So it just kind of incorporates the Google image with our, you know, stickers and everything as well. And then let's see. So I'm kind of looking through here. It's like, which one is poking out to me for like a Halloween kind of thing? Have a wicked good night. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. Let's see, is that connected to that girl? It is. But we could also trim that off from her too if we wanted to. So we'll just kind of keep that one in mind that maybe we can kind of come back to that one if we so choose. All right. Which better have my candy? I <laughs> love that. Uh. <laughs> that one but I'm not sure if it'll go really well so we're kind of thinking out loud here together let's see should I go with that one or hmm. you know what we're, we're, I am I'm just gonna go for it I think it'll be fun and everything so instead of trying to fit this like right in there for Happy Halloween. What I'm going to do instead, is I'm gonna come up here to this part, and I'm just gonna simply lay this down and across, so that kind of shows in there. And then I'm gonna pop back here through these clear back stickers. And I think I wanna pull in maybe like, yeah, like this kind of really cool, well actually I wanna use this one, this pumpkin here. I think he looks really kind of cool. So we're gonna bring him in here, place him right there in that spot next to our girl. Yeah, I just think that looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and so now I think I'm pretty good with this book for now, but I am just gonna put it off to the side. And now I'm gonna try to go into one of my alphabet kind of books here and pull in some numbers. Okay, so looking through my sticker books and everything, I'm pulling from my Sarah Marie stickers album here. I'm gonna be pulling in some of the, her stickers here, her numbered stickers from her numbered sheet I have. And we're gonna just put that to the side here. And I'm with my tweezers, I am going to lift up the number one here. And I'm going to place that one just right here okay and then i also need number 25. And you know what i think with kind of staying consistent i'm just gonna go through here and i'm going to put the yeah i'm just gonna put these all over the the dates and everything so bear with me guys Okay, so now we have redated our page here using Sarah Marie's stickers, her 1 through 31. And I really like the quality of her stickers and everything. And like I said, I will have them linked down below in the description box for your convenience if you guys are looking into it. As my subscribers and returners know, I absolutely love using those stickers for my weekly spreads because I use the monthly layout and they are just so great and everything. Now you're kind of wonder, probably wondering, most why did you number over here on top of your you know, imagery and everything? So my thought process and everything behind that is in case anything pops up in the month of October, you know, that I just did not foresee or forgot or anything like that, I still have place markers and everything where I can put like, 
you know, a small, you know, appointment sticker and everything over it and everything. So yes, I'm having like the main kind of thing coming through with the image and everything, but I'm still using my planner in a very functional manner. Okay. So if I have anything that I need to, you know, make, um, make note of for an appointment or anything, I still have the place markers of just the date stickers there and they don't really get in the way of taking away from this beautiful, beautiful imagery in the background and everything. So that's just kind of my process in that. Okay, so now we are also going to bring in our, let me pop it over here, our Coffee Monster Co. Our Coffee Monster Co. birthday princess inspired stickers. So we have two birthdays this month on the 13th and the 25th. So I'm going to peel this one up here. And we're going to pop that run right there, denoting for that birthday. And then we're going to take this one here and pop it over here for denoting this birthday on the 25th. And that is how we have that set up and everything. And the reason why I also did the date, um, the date numbers and everything, redating um, all with these smaller ones and everything is I kind of want a consistency and everything and keeping the kind the same kind of font style and everything throughout the entire monthly spread. So it just kind of doesn't, you know, like detract from anything in my opinion. Now we're also going to be bringing in some more ceremony stickers and I'm just going to simply go over here for the dates or the days of the week rather. So once again, this same Sarah Marie stickers, disc bound sticker um, album that I have, I'm going to flip through here to where I have my days of the week stickers. And again, I will have these listed down below for your convenience. If you guys are really interested, I cannot speak highly enough of her sticker shop, you know, through Etsy and everything. Um, my returners and subscribers now absolutely adore her and her shop. I think it's just such a wonderful shop that she has with the quality of stickers and her timeliness and, you know, getting the orders out and everything like that. Just, it's just wonderful. Okay. And then look how perfectly sized these are. So these are her mini days of the week and it just works so perfectly here for these monthly spreads and everything. Not to mention with my weekly spreads, you know, that I do as well. So yeah. And again, I just want to stay consistent with like the font, you know, being used. So that's why we are just, you know, redating with the stickers, um, with the days of the week and then the dates of the month. And then we're going to come here with our Wednesday and it just fits so perfectly in there, guys. I mean, my goodness. We're just gonna white out Friday too. That's a bit of a short sticker. Okay. And I always like to try to pull these up with my tweezers from the top. It just works out really nicely that way. Okay. And for our Friday. And then last but not least for our Saturday here on this page. Okay, and now let's sit back and take a look here at our pages side by side, friends, and what are we thinking? So this is where I'm going to stop here for my monthly spread for October. I think it turned out absolutely wonderful and everything. I have a lot of the imagery coming through from the Google images and everything, so I don't want to be putting a lot of sticker heavy, you know, -ness into this um, sticker book and everything, but as I like to do and everything with my pages, I am going to flip through and find a clear sticker bat, kind of on the smaller side if I can. Let's see. All right. Oh, I like this one. Okay. So with my tweezers, I am going to, actually, I'm just going to peel it off here. Okay. But with my tweezers, I'm going to take it. And you guys know me. I like to put a little bit of something here on the tab view. I don't know why. I just really like to. So I'm going to put this bat here on that tab. 
just like that next to the sidebar. And I think that just really adds a little, just that little extra something, something that I really like and everything for this spread. So yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and pop this in the Franken planner. Okay, so now we are going to pop this into our Franken planner, just like so. I love these pumpkin uh, orange rings. <laughs> All right, and here is how our pages are looking in the Franken planner, and I, yeah, I love it and everything. You know, it's just kind of fun doing something a little bit of different, you know, using Google imagery and everything mixed in with a few stickers and our functional boxes and, you know, our days of the week, our dates of the month, and it just really kind of pulls everything you know, really, truly together and everything. And I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys like this video today. If you happen to like the video, remember to hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. It is 100% absolutely free. And comment down below. Let me know what kind of costumes you guys are going to be dressing up as for this Halloween season or your kids or your cousins or what have you. And what is your favorite candy that you like to receive and everything for, um, you know, around the Halloween time and everything. I myself am a huge fan of the Snickers candy bar. I'm, I'm sorry, hands down, it's the best candy bar out there in my opinion and everything. But I love me some good Sour Patch Kids and everything as well too. So, you know, kind of mixing in that sweet and salty from the Snickers with like a little bit of sour from the Sour Patch. You just can't go wrong, in my opinion. So, well, thank you so much again for joining me today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Comment down below. What did you think about using Google imagery and everything, mixing and mashing, you know, with, you know, planner pages and everything, with your stickers and everything. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on it and everything. And with that being said, take care of yourselves, be kind, spread some love, and as always, I'll catch you guys in my next one.